Hey guys, welcome to livemorenow.net. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about photography stuff. And uh, as you may remember or may have seen in one of the one of Kim's recent videos, uh, we've started a uh, kind of a photography business here, Croft Digital. And in the studio style environment, when we're doing portraits and some product stuff, um, I like to shoot tethered. So today I want to do a comparison, a quick comparison on uh, on Capture One and Lightroom. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've just kind of thrown together a quick uh, kind of sample video here and chucked up some lights and <laughs> and I've got my camera set up on a, on a tripod and my awesome model over here who uh, never has to move or never blinks. So that's always, it's always nice and easy, right? So I just got a couple strobes set up. I got a 100 millimeter Takina lens set up on my 6D and I've got it running into my Capture Tether PC over here on my computer. And um, I'm going to show you the difference, really the speed difference, which was kind of, uh, I started using Lightroom right out of the gate just because I have it. I'm part of, you know, I have the, the, the Creative Cloud and I, I love using Lightroom uh, for, for capturing my photos or, sorry, editing my photos and organizing photos and stuff. Um, but not too long ago, I started looking into uh, or, or read about a package, a package called Capture One from uh, Phase One, who makes some pretty awesome high-end uh, medium format stuff. So, so I downloaded it and I thought I'd, uh, I'd give it a try. And uh, there's, there's, there is a bit of a difference in speed, I'll tell you that. That was the one, the one thing with Lightroom and tethering that I was okay with with product photography when you're not in, in much of a rush. But um, when, you're, when you're doing kind of portrait stuff and you got little kids or you got people moving around, the, the lag time between, or at least the time between getting the photo from the camera into the into the computer to see what you're see what you're doing is uh, was a little bit long. So so I just want to kind of show you a quick uh, a quick example of the difference between Lightroom and Capture One, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right, well I switched over to the GoPro here. I think I can get a little steadier of a shot. So so we got the camera set up on the tripod here. Um, I'm going to tether and shoot our little model over here and. Let's bring up Lightroom. All right, so we got Lightroom open here. I'm gonna start a new tethered set capture here. And I've got my area. All right, so we're gonna shoot this. So as soon as I hit the button here, we got our picture. And that kind of takes a little while. Now, I will tell you the one nice thing that Capture One does, or sorry, the one nice thing that Lightroom is doing, well, I guess it's, it's a plus or a minus depending on how you look at it, is as it's recording the picture or transferring the picture, let's take another one. And there it is, so it finally pops up. As it's doing, uh, taking, transferring the picture over USB, obviously over a USB, and I'm not using, this is a 60, so it's USB 2, it's not USB 3, super fast or nothing, but um, as um, it's also ca capturing the uh, sorry the picture to the memory card as well, so that I'm sure that's where a, a nice chunk of that time is coming from. The fact that it's having to transfer the image and copy to the card, um, Capture One doesn't do that. Um, it just actually transfers the image, so I was a little bit worried, kind of running it about about backup and having you know redundancy. But I think I found a bit of a workaround. That's that's not perfect, but it's uh, it's not a, not a bad idea. So so one more time, let me just take a shot. There we go. And there's the picture. So you know it's a couple seconds. I don't know what that is, um, but when you're you know if you're trying to do something kind of fast paced, obviously that can. That can take up a little bit of time and it doesn't exactly allow you to work super quick. So, so I was kind of on the hunt to see if there was either a fix for it or to do something else, and uh, uh, and I found Capture One. So let's 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 give Capture One a try. All right, so here's Capture One open. Hopefully we can see this a little bit with not too much glare. Again, this isn't the best. I should probably do a screen flow, but I kind of wanted to. To do this kind of quickly just to show you the comparison so all right so we got capture one open i'm going to hit the so there's our capture and there it is it's in there again there it is like it is it's all i don't want to say instantaneous obviously but it's pretty damn quick so click there's my picture 
So my pictures, you can hear my strobes. I don't have my strobes set that high. They're maybe at quarter power or something like that. Uh, so they, they recycle relatively quick, but you can see that the picture's popping in almost as quick as uh, my, by the time I re my strobes refire. So by the time, <laughs> I can't take another shot until my strobes are good anyway. So it's, it's pretty darn quick. I'm very, very pleased with it. So the downside though is, and probably part of the reason why it is so quick is it's just pulling the picture in from USB. It's not copying to the memory card. So I was a little bit worried about only having a single, you know, one non-redundant data, basically. The pictures are just getting copied to my solid state drive in my, in my computer here. Um, and what I did is found this little real-time sync that basically all I'm doing is running this in the background while I'm tethered shooting, and you can set it up for, you know, five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever, whatever you need to do here. Uh, and basically what it's doing is every 10 seconds in my case, it's copying everything over from where my main photos are being captured to, to a completely redundant other, my second solid state drive in here. So, so it gives me a little bit, you know, if something does go kaput or, you know, God forbid my hard drive blows up, uh, my capture drive blows up mid session. I've at least got my, um, got the photos up to that point back up on my second hard drive. So it's, it's free also. So it's kind of a cool, it's kind of a cool little backup utility. So, so anyways, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Capture one, believe it or not, I've actually, the last couple sessions I've saw it, I've switched over to, to capture one, even for editing. Um, I haven't used Lightroom at all in the last couple of weeks. I'm really kind of digging the editing tools and, um, a lot of the features inside of here. So maybe that's for another video, but I just wanted to, uh, like I said, I wanted to go through the benefits or at least the speed benefits that I've seen with Capture One. And I'm on Capture One Pro 9 now. They just came out a little while ago. So um, it's been pretty slick. So maybe we'll do another video uh, in the near future, maybe going into a little more in depth or, uh, or talking about Capture One as, a, as an editing suite. So thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.